Zavo from the capital city of Serbia, Belgrade. What you can see behind me is the river Sava. Over there is the river Danube, which joins onto the Sava. I'm right next to the monument, which is called the Winner. I'm in the Kalamagdan Park at the moment, which is inside the Kalamagdan Fortress. I thought this would be a great place to start our little tour of Belgrade, as it's the top of Nezmaholov Street, which is the main street. I'm going to work my way down and show you a few sites around Belgrade. It's a big city, so there's a lot to see and do. Watch the step, nearly fell over. What I'm going to do, I want to explore Kalamagdan Fortress in a later vlog. Like I say, this is a great place to start because the main street leads all the way to the Temple of Saint Sava, which also I'll do in a later vlog as well. I do recommend this park for a stroll. It's very calm, very chilled, very relaxed. Also here, a lot of people take their first dates down here, so you can get a lot of talking in, a lot of flirting. So yeah, all good. One thing I like about this city is you can take you know, different streets, different corners, and you'll always see something really cool. I'm going around this corner now, and I'm coming to a church called St. Michael's. Really like this church. See what I mean? Look at that graffiti. Really like that. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed inside the church. I got told off by a lady at reception and says no photo. So, just a word of warning if you're going in there, don't take your camera, don't take your video camera because you're going to get in trouble. So, but definitely worth checking out. Really cool church. I've got to say I'm a real sucker for architecture and Belgrade has definitely got its own flavour. Great place to have a walk around, loving it. Also in Belgrade you see a lot of graffiti. Some people complain about it but I actually like it. I think it gives the, the city a, a different vibe. You know, it makes it unique. This is a statue of a philosopher called Petrovic Yogosh, I think, or Yegosh. You can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but apparently he's a famous philosopher and writer. This is just off the main street. You've got a lot of cafes and bars around here. Obviously it's a bit quiet at the moment due to it being winter time and coronavirus. But I bet this is absolutely rocking in the summertime. So loads of places to eat and drink. Yeah, this leads all the way around to Republic Square. Just come to that now. There you go, Republic Square. That's the National Museum over there. You got St. Michael on his horse over there. Over the back there is the National Theatre. And you've got another shopping mall over here. Okay, in the background over there is National Assembly. I'll just pan around. And I'm going up to a monument now of a politician called Nikola Parsic. I think that's the right pronunciation. He's a famous politician after the Second World War. And he's got his own statue here in this square. So he's much celebrated. He's got his own private place in Belgrade. Talking about taking side streets and finding things that are cool, I'm off now to the Belgrade Design District, where it's got a few like quirky shops around here. Like I say, just stumbled across this the other day. This is pretty much hidden from the town centre. This is just off to Disney Square, I think it is. Got loads of craft design shops, different quirky things. Really do like this place, very quirky. There you go, you got James Brown. 
he doesn't feel so good. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, really like the vibe around here. Nice little cafe, people drinking. There you go, beer is quite cheap. 180 dinars, which is about $180. It's not bad. Okay, got a record shop. Close shop, hello. <laughs> art studio. You got some cool artwork in there. Very groovy. Okay guys, I've just been called back by a good guy called Pascal and his wife called Eva owns this shop. It's called Gallery 1250 and it's a ceramic shop. So I'm just going to wander in here now and have a little browse around, show you guys around. But yeah, I really do like this place, the Belgrade Design District. It's very cool. Okay, let's have a little look. Hello Eva, how are you doing? You alright? <laughs> Okay, so you've got a lot of ceramics here and things. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how how long have you been here? Uh, we we are here for seven years. Seven and years. Three, okay. Yes, yes. yes. And this is all handmade stuff from local artists. Nice. So it's everything is handmade and each piece is unique and original. Yeah. And there there is uh, there are six of us here, so yeah. each one is making uh, something uh, totally. Original and right, okay. So you make you make things yourself? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm so one of the artists. Oh, very cool. <laughs> I like creative people. I'm, I'm a creative myself. I play a bit of uh, guitar and I write oh. songs. So, so you, you I you understand. Yeah, yeah. The, the creative elements. So tell 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 me a little bit what you do here. What what kind of things do you sell? Well, at the moment, uh, because it's a Christmas season. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of porcelain uh, ornaments for Christmas tree and. Uh, Decoration. Nice, okay, uh, yeah. But also, what we have during all year it's porcelain jewelry, it's uh, these teacups, uh, yeah, like oh, a lot. Pot pottery tableware. I really like these yeah. teacups, that's really cool. Yeah, so there are different styles. Nice. Like Alice in Wonderland, these earthy colors. Yeah. That's really cool. Each piece is unique. And this is all functional, you know, you can use it normally. Yeah, yeah. We, we use the same technology like industrial making, but only it's, it is handmade. Nice. So what, what, what things have you made here personally? Oh, you made the teacups. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that I've been through straight to the teacups uh, and you've made them. Like I say, I obviously, you know, you've got a talent. <laughs> oh, very cool. Like I say, in England, we like a good cup of tea. So, yes, yeah. these would be very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Is this jewellery? Yes, this is uh, earrings. Yes. Brooches, pendants. Uh, it's stuff for girls. And of course, there is no two same pieces. Yeah. And, uh, They're all original original stuff? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Also, uh, this for salt and pepper for kitchen, you know, people, yes. people who likes to cook. And also, our signature thing is the rakia cup. Oh, rakia cup! Yeah. <laughs> like I did. I did wonder what those were. I, th I thought they were egg cups, but rakia cup. Yeah, yeah that, that appeals to me. Yeah, I like rakia my... is our uh, national drink. Yeah, I, I I know about rakia. I know all <laughs> about rakia. Yeah, I'd yeah. like say uh, many a many a morning, many a headache here. So yeah. So what are these? Are these? Uh, also for like um, like a shot. Oh right, so yeah. they're the bigger right. shots. Yeah, they're a little bit like triple, right? Oh right, okay. So yeah, oh, oh nearly, oh nearly wrecking the place okay. like a, like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> so I'm I'm got, got money on me at the moment, so I don't want to wreck the place. But uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so these are the uh, bubbles for the Christmas yeah, trees. Yeah, all, all for Christmas trees. Nice, nice. Yeah. Do like them? Very cool. Things for interior design. It's uh, yeah. I see you've also got some artwork on the on the walls as yeah. well. It's a, it's a smaller part of our shop, but a uh, few of us are also doing uh, paintings and drawings. Yeah. So this is uh, also available. Very cool, very cool. So did you uh, go to study art at uh, yes. university? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are yeah. all, uh, six of us, we are all from friends from Faculty of Applied Arts from Belgrade. So we, oh, met, we yeah. met there and yeah. after, after graduating we decided to open our own shop. Very nice, very nice. Okay guys, so yeah, 
If you're in the Belgrade area, come to the Belgrade Design District and come to the 1250 Gallery oh, yeah. and come and meet lovely Eva and she'll oh. show you around and buy some nice things. Love this place, really thank cool. You. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Okay, that was cool to see. I'm going home now for a cup of tea. I just want to show you one thing. This place here, this little precinct, there's a shop up the back called At Room. It's a little art shop. And that's Eva's husband, Pascal. Go and check it out. It's got some nice pieces in there. Really do recommend you have a look. But yeah, the Belgrade Design District. I really like this place. It's a little bit difficult to find, but I'm sure if you ask people in Belgrade where it is, I'm sure they'll point in the right direction. Okay, see you in the next one. Cheers.